This will be a video review of the DeLonghi Dragon 40615T space heater. This is a, technically an oil-filled portable radiator, which is a type of space heater, uh, and uh, but not one with a fan in it. It's a large stainless steel body with this heat pipe design, and it is filled with some sort of oil. So it heats up very slowly, and then heats the room through convection of air rising up through here, and there's no fan, so it's not entirely silent, but it's very quiet. The, uh, this sort of design is popular because this stays cool to the touch. It does obviously create heat, but the outside stays cool. It, uh, they really, it's really nice looking. It doesn't look too futuristic or plasticky, so it has a classic or modern European feel to it. And of course, they're very quiet and they provide, provide a, a warm, soft heat, not a harsh fan type heat that you would get from a fan heater or a uh, ceramic radiant heater. Again, where it's hot air blowing on you. This thing's about two feet tall, a foot and a half deep, maybe about eight inches wide, weighs about 25 pounds, so it's not small and uh, it's not very light. So that's why it's on these four casters. As you can see, you typically would roll this from room to room, not that you would have to move it very much. It has a six foot cord. This is a 110 volt model designed for the, uh, the US and Canada. And uh, again, full metal body with a lot of venting here. And it has these top vents because the heat rises up through this. It has a, what they call a heat pipe design. And then the heat will go out through the top and then it will circulate through your room. So there's no fan here. So getting the heat where you want can be a problem. So typically you would either put a whole room circulator in there or you would use the natural air currents in the room to have the heat rise through here. Heat will rise, swirl around the room. So really what you're doing is heating in a whole room, not heating a space the way you do with a fan-based cooler. Or heater rather. <laughs> From a feature standpoint, we have a carrying handle here. Here we have the thermostat. So this is determining at which point the heater goes on. And it uses a, uh, this is a, that little star symbol. That's actually not a star, it's a frost symbol. So that is the minimum. This is saying it is, this will only turn on if the room is going to fall below freezing. So that could be zero degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And this setting means it's a basically a uh, antifreeze setting, they call it. So you could have this in your room and have this be entirely off, except if the room is in danger of freezing. That's what this is. Then you have one through six, and that'll get the room from being uh, different heat levels or different temperature levels. They don't have temperatures here because the same model is sold in Europe and in the US. So uh, six might be uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, whatever that is in, uh, you know, 27, 28 degrees. Here we have uh, power levels. Power level is how hot or how hard this is working. This is a 1500 watt heater. So you could say uh, here would be like, say four, say four is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. You could say get to 75 as quickly as possible using maximum heat output or you could use medium heat output, you will, it won't turn off until it gets to 75 degrees, but the amount of power it uses to get there and how long it takes to get there will be slower than if you're on max. Then you have minimum and then zero is off. These have LED indicators. And then at the bottom, you see the most interesting part of this, uh, this space heater. And the one that I would say gives people the most confusion, but it's also one of the best features. And this is a circular dial with these little tabs here that go in and out. And it is labeled zero through 24, or actually one through 24. And it could be a little confusing for people because what it is, is a 24 hour timer with these little on off tabs. So basically what you do is you get this little indicator here and you turn it to be what time it is right now using a 24 hour, like a European clock. So if it is 10 o'clock in the morning, 
you would turn this until this little arrow says 10, plug it in. Now it has the timer is synced with your time. You don't have to worry about it ever again, unless if you unplug it. The timer runs automatically. You don't have to set it. Well, this is not a timer. It's really of a clock, really a clock. And then these little switches here indicate if the uh, radiator or the space here is going to be on or off at that time. So they're little 15 minute increments. So if you wanted to have your space heater running from 10 in the morning until noon, you would just flip these down from 10 till noon. And this is technically till 12, 15. And now it'll be off until uh, 16. So it'll be off until 4 p.m. And now maybe you're going back to do some work after lunch and you want it on from 4 to 6 p.m. Now it's enabled from then. It'll then turn off for the rest of the day. As long as you keep these all out, it'll be off for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow morning, it'll turn on again at 10 o'clock. It's a really useful feature without this thing being at all digital. It's completely analog, which is uh, useful for some people from a longevity standpoint. It's uh, usually better to have an analog design like this. It is a little bit confusing, and these little pieces of plastic are pretty fiddly, but I haven't seen any of them break. And once you set it up, you have... You could really customize how this works. You could have it turn on at seven o'clock in the morning so the room is nice and warm when you wake up and then have it turn off at you know, 10 o'clock if that's when you go out and take a walk or what have you. Not very many other features here are those four casters. They don't lock, they can't be removed. And then there's a cord holder. In case you don't need the cord exposed, you wanna just wrap it up. You have that there. Like I said, it's a six foot cord in a 110 outlet. The heater is very quiet, practically silent. You could hear it sort of like crackling a little bit. As it goes, we'll plug it in right now. You see the LED indicators turned on. They are orange. It'll indicate the temperature that you're going for. And we'll just listen and see if this heats up. We'll also put it on six to make sure we're looking for maximum temperature. We have this is enabled, so it is on. And let's hear, give it a second. You could probably hear a little bit of whirring as the heating element heats up and the oil starts to circulate inside the body. This room is at 65 degrees right now, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's quite cool and it will heat up until it hits that six indicator and it'll heat up at a relatively slow pace because we're on medium and we won't use the full 1500 watt power output of the heater. If you have a limitation on the amp draw of your, ho your house, then you probably don't want to go to the full max. You might leave it on medium or min. This piece will turn as time goes by. So let's give it a little minute, a minute or two to see how it goes. The space heater has been operating for some time now. You can see it's still on max, temperature still also on six, which is max. The timer has rotated through its course, uh, keeping in time with the actual time it is now, and the heater's heating the room. This is a fairly large room maybe 15 by 15, which is a little bit beyond the spec of this heater. This is spec for 144 square feet. So it'd be a, a 12 by 12 room. And the height of the room will make a big difference, obviously, because it's, uh, this is not heating an area so much, which is not blowing hot air on you specifically. It's heating the entire space. So uh, it's gonna suffer if the room is too big or has too much volume. So this won't work well in a peaked room, you know, with a cathedral type ceiling or something like that. Uh, it'll work better in smaller spaces like an office or a smaller bedroom. Even though it's been operating for some time on mac maximum output, the uh, body is, it's, it's definitely hot. This is not comfortable, but it won't burn you. You don't want to touch this, but really the really hot part is the inside and the hot air is coming up from 
the top. It's rising up and coming up through here using that heat pipe, de heat pipe design. You could feel in my hand right now, I could feel the hot air rising up. So this is hot, but it won't touch, it won't burn you if you were to touch this. It's not comfortable, but it won't cause a fire and it won't uh, burn anyone. So that's a really good design cue. So, and just lastly, from a temperature, or sorry, from a volume standpoint, we'll get this nice and close to the camera and we'll see what we can hear. You could probably just hear a little bit of whirring or crackling, uh, but really not much to it. Put that off to the side, take a quick look at the box and see if there's anything revealing here. Like I said, it's the DeLonghi oil-filled radiator. See it in a nice kind of home setting. 24-hour timer, pre-assembled wheels that flip up and flip down. The flip down is really just for shipping. You wouldn't do that generally. 1500 watt output from the feature standpoint we see fast heating that's that's a panel heater that's different if you want something fast then a panel heater is better if you want something silent and that heats the whole room not just a the space then uh and a radiant heater like this one is the way to go and then a ceramic heater or a fan based heater that's for focused heat say on your one person not the entire room Feature-wise, large radiant space, chimney effect, that's the heat pipes that are rising the heat up through here and it circulates around the room naturally. It's pre-assembled, cord storage is built in, as you can see, oil-filled radiant heater, obviously, the thermostat we talked about, three power settings, and then the 24-hour timer. That's really all, all there is to it. It's not digital, there's no remote, there's a uh, nothing to control except for what we've seen there's no other features or settings that's it uh it's a good heater which is quiet and it's well built and delonghi makes really nice stuff the uh, downsides is that it doesn't handle a lot of square footage 1500 watts only get you up to 144 square feet and that it will heat a room well but it won't heat a person well the person has to be in the warm room so if you are cold and you plug this in, it's not gonna create any heat for you for an hour or two. The, the room has to warm in its entirety, the way a, uh, not the way a fan-based heater works where it just shoots hot air at you and then in 30 seconds, you're warmer. This, that's just not how a thermostat works. This is something you plug in for a long amount of time. You put on that 24-hour cycle and it heats the room and it starts heating the room ideally multiple hours before you get in there. The room heats up. And then this thing stays in a steady state where it takes a long time to heat up, but then it stays hot and it takes a long time to cool down. That's more efficient if you need to heat a whole space, but it's not good at just heating you when you're cold. Uh, as f and that's basically true of all oil-filled radiant heaters. As for the DeLonghi, I like this one because it has really nice build quality. It's super quiet and it's really dependable and reviews around the web are very positive. It's not just that I like this heater. Uh, a lot of people like this heater. So I think that pretty much covers the uh, DeLonghi Dragon and the 40615T model. It sells for about $115. If you are interested in an oil-filled radiant heater, space heater, I guess, then this is a really nice one, but it's not a replacement for a ceramic or fan-based heater. Those are it's a different type of solution. If you want something like to sleep near, not that I really recommend sleeping with an oil heater, but if you want to sleep near something or have something for frost protection, the way we had in this frost protection setting right now, you need an oil-filled heater like this. You do not want to do that with a ceramic or fan-based heater. So uh, for some scenarios, this is definitely, definitely the right heater. It just, uh, you have to decide when a space heater is the right solution and when it's time to put in a, a full on or permanent uh, heat solution. So I think that covers everything. Thanks for your time.